Welcome back to our Pamela's Pro Workout video series, where we take a closer look at the more unique and powerful features of the Pam Pro. Today, we'll walk through several more advanced techniques for taking Euclidean pattern sequencing further. The Pam Pro's expanded Euclidean section provides a highly musical tool for generating rhythms and patterns with helpful visual aid plus an additional pad parameter to add further variations. Let's take a look at some of the ways that Euclidean patterns can be used. In this first patch, we'll build up a beat entirely using Euclidean patterns of uneven lengths. Starting by triggering a hi-hat, let's increase the modifier to times 4, then set the Euclidean step length. Once we enter some triggers, we can hear the Euclidean pattern looping independently from the rest of the sounds. To reset the pattern on an even number of beats, we can use the loop parameter. Once the loop is set, any of the Euclidean parameters can be adjusted without affecting the loop size. We can see the Euclidean step display continues to jump back each time the loop resets. Let's trigger a clap sound from output 2. Again, we'll set an uneven step length and align the pattern with the rest of the sounds by looping it. We'll continue adding sounds using the same technique for each. Keep in mind that the number of looped beats is related to the master BPM. Regardless of each output's modifier setting, a loop size of 8 beats will always be the same duration. Now that all four Euclidean patterns are locked to an 8 beat loop, we can easily add variation. Let's assign CV by the axon 2 to the number of Euclidean triggers in each pattern. Using the built-in offset, we can now control the density of our four drum patterns by turning it up. For further variation, let's do the same for the number of Euclidean steps by assigning the offset below.
Remember, because they are looped, any real time changes we perform to the number of Euclidean steps or tricks will only alter the rhythms. The four patterns will always repeat together. Resetting Euclidean sequences with the loop parameter is a great way to quickly create musical patterns and beats using the Pan Pro. In this next patch, we'll create a sparse percussion rhythm utilizing the additional Euclidean pad and shift parameters. We'll start by triggering a woodblock sound. Let's create a Euclidean pattern with only a single step and trigger. Using the Euclidean pad, we'll add 15 empty pad steps to the end of the Euclidean pattern. With Euclidean shift, we can move the single trigger pattern to a different position in relation to the rest of the sounds. Let's add a rim shot sound and create a small Euclidean pattern to trigger it. Again, we'll add Euclidean pad steps to reach a total size of 16. Let's shift this rhythm slightly forward. Let's continue triggering percussion sounds using the Euclidean pad to create space and Euclidean shift to position triggers around one another. Beginning with the wood block, let's alter the beat by once again shifting the four trigger patterns forwards and backwards. Euclidean pad and shift parameters are very helpful for breaking up the regularity of Euclidean patterns and building rhythms in a fast and musical fashion. In this final patch, we'll make use of Euclidean patterns to break up typical LFOs and add space between their wave cycles. We'll start by creating a triangle wave LFO on output 1, patching it to modulate the FM amount from operator 1 to 2 on the castle.
Let's set the Euclidean step length and triggers to begin to space the cycles of our triangle wave LFO. As we can see on the scope, the LFO cycle now only occurs on the Euclidean trigger steps. Let's create a faster triangle wave LFO on output 2 and patch it to modulate the FM amount from operator 3 to 4 on the castle. We'll use a different Euclidean step length and pattern to misalign the two Euclidean LFOs resulting in asynchronous jumps and overlapping of the FM modulation. Now let's patch two more LFOs from outputs 3 and 4 to control left and right side VCAs of the castle's stereo output. We'll add Euclidean patterns to these LFOs to create a rhythmic panning between the left and right side VCAs. Let's add one more LFO from output 5 to control the FM multiplier. We'll again space it out using a Euclidean pattern. Although they are often suited for more rhythmic patching, Euclidean patterns are a powerful tool for natural sounding modulation, working great to add space and asynchronous repetition to smooth LFOs. Thanks for watching this closer look at the Euclidean sequencing functions of PAMA's Pro Workout. This highly flexible and simple method of pattern creation can be utilised for many different types of patching, from adding subtle variation to sequencing entire tracks. Of course, we've only scratched the surface of what is possible here and recommend experimenting with Euclidean patterns yourself to unlock new and exciting functionality from the PAM Pro. For more information on PAMA's Pro Workout and the rest of the ALM line, please visit busycircus.com.